Let's learn about input and output. This is an input-output box for multiplication. This one has a 5 in the corner and a 6 in the corner. It also has a 1 and a blank. The strategy I teach my students is to circle the numbers in the corner, 5 and a 6, and multiply them. Really simple. If you don't know how to multiply, sing one of the multiplication songs, like the 5 song. If we sing the 5 song and stop at 6, we'll find the answer. So let's sing the 5 song. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 5 times 6 is 30. And basically, that's our answer. But we have to check our work. Let's multiply 1 times 30. 1 times 30 is also 30. And that's how we check to see if we did it correctly. Because 5 times 6 equals 30, 1 times 30 also equals 30. Now I'm going to show you an input-output box. That's a division input-output box. This input output box is similar, but if you notice, the blank is located in the left corner. Now we can also multiply 1 times 24, and we should get 24. But if we multiply 3 times blank, we should also get 24. Now, if we don't know how to divide, 3 times blank equals 24, we should realize that this is really division. So a trick I taught my students to do is to actually divide by singing. So we're going to actually sing the 3 song, and we're going to stop all the way down when we get to 24. All right, so let's sing. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. So we sung the 3 song. We stopped when we heard 24. And that actually took us 8 steps. So the correct answer to this is really 8. A little confusing, a little difficult. Let's try it one more time. We're going to sing the three song. I remind myself by making a little musical note. We're going to stop when we get to the bottom number, which in this problem is 21. So let's sing the three song. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. In this problem, it took us 7 steps to get to 21. 3 times 7 equals 21. Now let's check it. 1 times 21 also equals 21. That's how you multiply, and that's how you do input-output boxes with multiplication.